everybody, it's Goliath, and I'm here joined again by... Ianthus. Hello. Yes, and we're here to talk about, again, the Dragon Ball Z series movie franchise. And today we'll be talking about Lord Slug. Well, as we commonly put it now, the movie was just... Stupid. stupid. It was stupid. Stupid. It was very stupid. Um, Akira Toriyama, I don't know how much... Um, first time I actually got his name right. Wow. Um, I'm proud of you. I know, right? I'm practicing. I don't know how much you put your own effort into this movie. Um, I'm trying not to insult the man, not to get sued. Um, I mean, the dude's a legend, but this, this is just not good. Okay. Hey, this is also our first time doing one of these with our new microphone. It's a wonderful toy. So we're, you know, we got to do this because until we have a stand to do this. Focus. I have this now. <laughs> so we watched Lord Slug, which is, uh, what is this? The fourth, fourth, fourth movie fourth in the series now. Yeah. And like we said, it's just stupid. <laughs> so first things first, is it canon? I'm going to go with a solid, no way. No, no the, possible way. Goku's alive. Piccolo's fine. Krillin's alive, except for Tian, Yamcha, Chaozu, and everyone else so seems to be missing. For this to fit in the canon, it either has to be before the Saiyans, in which case... Goku would be near a coma, or dead still. Or it's after, in which case Piccolo, Piccolo is, is dead. dead. So they're both fine, so this movie just doesn't fit and we don't anywhere. And we don't know where Tian, Yamcha, or Chaozu are. Not even in the movie. Now, yeah, Jirobi some reason is in the movie. Of course, he just comes in with his Senzu beans. <laughs> yes. So what kind of fun things did we see? We got to see whistling. <laughs> yes, whistling. That's what turned the tides of this movie. It's 40 minutes of just yes. 40 minutes. Okay, so the action is probably some of the best we've seen so far. And honestly, there was there was just straight fighting. There was there was no story. It was just fighting. Yep. Bad guys are here. Let's go. And it was the the fight scenes were good. It was graphic. There was just a lot of death. There yeah. was a lot of blood and gore. And these strange aliens that I thought were like either Namekians. Deborah, uh, no. Z you know, all no. Frieza's men. No, they were just no. random aliens. No, <laughs> they're not. They're random aliens. They don't fit. But uh, we got to see Chi Chi fight. Yeah, she, all five seconds. She she came in. <laughs> she protected her kid. She kicked some alien butt and then got got punched. And that was the end of that. Krillin came in and uh, got slapped. And he was out <laughs> for the rest of the movie. So no, no, I love it. He's like Goku. I got this. Ah, boom. And that was. The it, end and of you that. were gone for about twenty minutes. <laughs> So, let's see. We've got Lord Slug, a super Namek, one of the ancient Namekians who was banished from Namek because he went mad with power. Mm -hmm. So, what's the thing he does? He, first, he lands on the planet and calls upon the dragon, wishes himself to be young again, eternal, eternal youth, youth, gets his power name. back, and then starts slapping people around for another 25 minutes until Goku spirit bombs that game over. Now, should we talk about that giant um, planet-sized meteor that he arrived in that came out of nowhere? Yeah, so apparently he, they go to planets, they terraform them with ice, then the ship they're on drives them like a toy car, apparently, till they get to the next planet. I don't. It doesn't make any sense of why they're doing this. He has like a horde of cyber soldiers that kind of look like guys from the Majin Buu saga. What was it? A Pui Pui. They look like Pui Pui men. <laughs> If this sounds like it's not making any kind of sense, it's because it doesn't make any kind of sense. So, to reiterate, they 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 go to planets, they freeze the planets, they turn them into spaceships, and then take these frozen planets to other planets to then use as spaceships. Yes, it's like a car. You just, you just you just drive along. When the car breaks down, you stop and you just grab the next car with gasoline and just take that car, you know, and just forget the other car. So he does this because he's a nomad in search of Dragon Ball so that he can be young. So start of the movie, he gets He was long. he was banned from the planet. They were banished from the planet. He's like 280 some odd years old or something like that. So we don't know exactly where it all fits into place, but apparently it his doesn't. power it doesn't. <laughs> Apparently his power level. I was doing a little research into this again. Of course the internet lies. His power level is somewhere between Frieza third form and some other stuff, but I'm like I, I don't think that's right, Ianthus. I don't think he's nowhere near. I think Frieza's second form could just take him. He, he's strong. Don't get me wrong. Because it took the pre-Super Saiyan appearance of Goku. Which, by the way, we have to touch on that. Pre-Super Saiyan. That's another thing they did in this movie. So they decide during this fight, Goku's going to go almost Super Saiyan. King Kai thinks he's Super Saiyan. Oh my God, he evolved into legendary Super Saiyan. Almost. He's almost Super it's Saiyan. It's like Rage Saiyan Kaioken. So that happens until it's revealed that he's a Namek by ripping his arm off because 
no eh. one guessed it thus far. And then when it, let, it's it sounds like we're rambling and it sounds like it doesn't make any kind of sense because that's exactly what this movie is. I mean, there's there's, there's no way this is canon. There's, there's, there's no logic. There's no timeline. None of this makes sense. But I will admit, a lot of blood and gore. I did love the blood and gore. <laughs> I mean the hand crushing thing with Piccolo fighting the guy. I mean it, it's it's a fun watch, but the movie's stupid. You have a big Namekian show up out of nowhere for no reason because reason, reason, and then <laughs> kicks everyone around a little bit, and then Spirit Bomb game over onto the next villain of the week. It's basically it's, yes that. So he just running around, bo borrowing people's planets. Doesn't seem to mind that he's killing an entire ecosystem of people, but you know. It was it's Lord Slug, and I love that he calls himself Lord, and I'm like it's Lord of what. So, I would say, if you're into the Dragon Ball series for the story, first of all, watch another show. <laughs> I'm but sorry. okay. If I'm you're... sorry, Toy Animation. Don't, don't sue us. We love you. If you're in it for the action, this is good. But the story is the weakest I've seen so far in this series, as far as the movies go. But we have plenty more to watch. Yes, we do. Because we're only on movie four. There's a lot more. <laughs> so, I'm going to say, stay tuned, because there's more on the way. This movie is stupid. It's fun. But it's stupid. You have any closing comments? <laughs> it's stupid. Um, I gotta say, honestly, I love the blood and gore. It was probably one of the more violent movies we've seen thus far. More blood, more gore. Timeline doesn't make any sense. The power levels don't make any sense. The movie doesn't, doesn't make, make any sense. sense. <laughs> so, I, it, it, it's, it's terrible. I'm sorry. I give it like a two out of ten. Uh, I give it a D minus. They made action and gore and fighting, but I have no idea where in the world if this was ever to become canon. How on earth? Coming right after Tree of Might, which again was a little hokey towards the end, but it was like it was fun. It was a fun watch. The movie was cool. Was this longer. was not. This wasn't cool. You had little green frogmen putting little kamikaze blow up frog things in the back. It's just it was a bad time. <laughs> no, no. Just remember Goku. Hey, if you're looking for the soldier jobs, use the side door. Me and Krillin are self-employed. Oh, and finally, Gohan battered on the ground. Goku oh. runs up. Gohan, my son! Daddy! I love you! I know. You fought hard. I was like, wait. It just... It, it no, felt so... No. Gets up off the skyline. This is where the whole arc doesn't make any sense. Ah, the sun! My old friend! So it was all glowy arm and one hand spirit bomb. Bing, I, bang, boom. I didn't know Goku was Superman. Right, he got recharged by the sun, because now we're crossing our franchises. We went into DC. Uh, I'm out. This movie's stupid. I'm out. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys next time. See you later. <laughs>